Now we have second special purpose gate XNOR gate. Firstly, I can write XNOR gate is a combination of XOR gate with NOT gate. Logic symbol will be like this XOR gate followed by NOT gate. XOR gate means A and B XOR gate output is A XOR B. XOR gate followed by NOT gate. So A XOR B whole complement. Representation is A XOR B. Complement of XOR is XOR. Represented as dot inside a circle. Represented as dot inside a circle. A XOR B, the expression was AB complement plus A complement B. A XOR B, the representation, oh sorry, expression is A dot B plus A complement dot B complement. So finally, if there is a NOT gate at the output of any gate, it can be simply replaced with a bubble. So representation, representation or I can say logic symbol for XNOR gate, logic symbol for XNOR gate will be this one. Inputs are A and B. Notation is dot inside a circle. Notation is dot inside a circle and expression is AB plus A complement B complement. AB plus A complement B complement. This is basic XNOR gate. This is the basic details about XNOR gate. Now let us draw a table for this one. So the columns for the table will be A, B, a complement, B complement, A dot B, A complement, dot B complement and the final expression AB plus A complement, B complement. So we have four combinations for two inputs A and B. We have four combinations for two inputs A and B. Combination 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. A complement will be 1, 1, 0, 0. B complement will be 1, 0, 1, 0. A dot B. A dot B. 0, 0, 0 and 1. A complement dot B complement. 1, 0, 0 and 0. What will be A dot B plus A complement dot B complement? 0 plus 1, 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0, 1 plus 0, 1. Now what we have to note, what we have to note is output is logic high when, output is logic high when both the inputs are equal. Output is logic high when both the inputs are equal. So XNOR gate is also called equality detector. XNOR gate is also called equality detector. So what is the statement for XNOR gate? Output is logic high when both the inputs are equal. Output is logic low when both the inputs are unequal. And since it is Detecting equal inputs. How it is detecting e equal inputs? Detecting means output is logic high. Detection means output is logic high. So whenever you see a word detect in digital electronics, it corresponds to the condition when your output will be high. So in this case, when the output is at logic high, when the inputs are equal, that is why this is called as equality detector. So please write down the statement for XNOR gate. XNOR gate is a logic gate. XNOR gate is a logic gate whose output is at logic high, whose 
output is at logic high when both the inputs are equal or same when both the inputs are equal or same when both the inputs are equal or same next line xnor gate is a logic gate xnor gate is a logic gate whose output is at logic low whose output is at logic low when both the inputs are unequal or different output is logic low when both the inputs are both the inputs are unequal or different unequal or different okay now the statement for equality detector write down next line xnor gate detects equal inputs xnor gate detects equal inputs by producing logic high at the output by producing logic high at the output producing logic high at the output so it is called so it is called equality detector so it is called equality detector if you remember we had a conclusion for xor gate that it is odd number of ones detector now for the similar conclusion in xnor gate is not so simple so that is why i am considering four variables or four inputs instead of three inputs because the conclusion is not so straight forward or not so simple okay so a b c d four inputs will have 16 combinations so what are the columns you can see first i am analyzing result of a and b then i am analyzing the result of a b and c and then i am analyzing the result of a b c and d this is xnor gate equality detector first of all let me write the 16 combinations combination 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 first i will see a and b only a and b so number of ones a and b even 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 single one odd single one odd single one odd single one odd two ones even 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 xnor is an equality detector equality detector equality means equal inputs one in equal zero equal inputs one now check number of ones in a b and c not in d only a b and c a b and c even number of ones odd number of ones odd number of ones even number of ones do you have to check a b and c i am checking a b and c again this is odd number of ones this becomes even number of ones even number of ones a b and c this becomes odd number of ones now you have to find a x nor b with c a x nor b with c 1 and 0 1 and 0 will not be detected 1 and 0 will not be detected 1 and 1 will be detected 1 and 1 is same 0 and 0 is same 0 and 0 is same 0 and 1 is not detected not detected 0 and 0 is same 0 and 0 will be same 0 and 1 will not be detected will not be detected 
will not be detected will not be detected will be detected and will be detected now the final one you have to check number of ones in a b c and d so e1 one that is odd one is odd two is even one is odd two is even two is even three is odd one is odd 2 is even 2 is even 3 is odd 2 is even 3 is odd 3 is odd 4 is even now this a b c x nor with d 0 and 0 same 0 and 1 different 1 and 0 different 1 and 1 same 1 and 0 different 1 and 1 same, 0 and 0 same, 0 and 1 different, 1 and 0 different, 1 and 1 same, 0 and 0 same, 1 and 0 different, 0 and 0 same, 1 and 0 different, 0 and 1 different, 1 and 1 same that is 1. Now if you analyze the result even number of 1's is being detected. Even number of 1's is being detected. Even number of 1's is being detected. But see here what is happening? Odd number of 1's is being detected odd number of ones is being detected see odd number of ones is being detected odd number of ones is being detected see what is happening again opposite even number of ones is being detected 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 so what we can conclude when number of input is even it is detecting even when number of input is odd it is detecting odd when number of input is back to even it is detecting even so what is the conclusion see here x nor gate x nor gate is x nor gate is odd number of ones detector odd number of ones detector for odd number of inputs we have seen for three inputs it is detecting odd number of ones and it is even number of ones detector it is even number of ones detector for even number of inputs for even number of inputs so it is conditional and that also very easy to remember odd number of inputs odd number of ones detector even number of inputs even number of ones detector it is very easy to remember okay and what about XOR gate XOR gate is always odd number of ones detector XOR gate is all always odd number of ones detector but XOR gate is conditional depends on number of input and that also easy to remember odd number of inputs it is odd number of ones detector even number of inputs it is even number of ones detector but XOR gate was always odd number of ones detector now let us see how to use the conclusions we have discussed we have discussed XOR gate is even number of ones detector for even number of input and odd number of ones detector for odd number of inputs see 
what steps you have to take i am i have written four questions first of all i will check how many inputs are there so that i can decide what number of ones detector it should be for example total number of input not ones inputs 1 2 3 4 4 it is even number of input so it will be even number of ones detector even number of inputs so it will be even number of ones detector now see what is the number of ones how many ones are there two ones even it is even number of ones detector and it is getting even number of ones so it will be detected detected means output is logic high see next case how many inputs are there four inputs even number of inputs so even number of ones detector even number of ones detector but now let me check how many number of ones are there only one which is an odd number it is an even number of ones detector but we are not getting even number of ones so it will not be detected not be detected means zero now check how many inputs inputs not ones inputs 1 2 3 4 5 5 odd number of inputs so it should be odd number of ones detector odd number of ones detector now let me check actual number of ones present 1 2 and 3 odd number of ones are present odd number of ones detector and odd number of ones present it will be detected what is the total number of inputs 1 2 3 4 5 5 odd odd number of inputs sorry yes odd number of inputs so it will be odd number of ones detector it is having odd number of inputs so it will be so it will be odd number of ones detector now let me check how many ones are there 1 and 2 even even number of ones are there it is odd number of ones detector but number of ones is even so it will not be detected so it is simply that the conclusions are being used in this simple way now uh, let us see another analysis for xnor operation let's say you have to solve 0 xnor 1 xnor 0 so what we have learned how to solve this one how many inputs are there three inputs are there odd number of inputs so it is odd number of ones detector odd number of inputs so it is odd number of ones detector as we have learned now how many ones are there only one one is there that is odd number of ones odd number of ones are present so odd number of ones will be detected and your output will be one now solve zero xor one xor zero same three inputs but this time xor operation xor is always odd number xor is always odd number of ones detector xor is always odd number of ones detector so how many number of ones are there again odd number of ones are there so it will be detected so your output will again be equal to 1 now what we are observing now what we are observing xor and xnor operation is equal they are not the complement of each other but they are equal but how we started xnor gate xnor gate we started by saying it is complement of xor 
or I can say XOR gate followed by a NOT gate is equivalent to a XOR gate. That was correct and this is also correct. How both the things are correct? It actually depends on number of inputs. If there are even number of inputs, XOR and XNOR are complement of each other and if number of inputs are odd, they are equal to each other. See here. For even number of inputs, for even number of inputs, XOR complement is equal to XNOR. For example, A XOR B complement is equal to A XNOR B or you can say A XOR B XOR C XOR D whole complement is equal to A XNOR B XNOR C XNOR D. But for odd number of inputs, for odd number of input XOR is equal to XNOR. XOR is equal to XNOR. That is A XOR B XOR C is equal to A XNOR B XNOR C. Or you can say A XOR B XOR C XOR D XOR E is equal to A XNOR B XNOR C XNOR D XNOR E. So this is a very important result that depends on number of inputs. So for even number of inputs XOR and XNOR are complement of each other. For odd number of input they are same. This you can also justify like this. This you can also justify like this. Ki for even number of input. For even number of input XNOR is even number of ones detected. XNOR is even number of ones detected. XOR gate is always odd number of ones detected. So they are complement of each other. So they are complement of each other. What about odd number of inputs? Odd number of inputs. XNOR gate is odd number of ones detected. And XOR gate is always odd number of ones detected. So I can conclude XOR is equal to XNOR. In this sense also we can conclude. If you remember in XOR gate, if we fix one input at logic high, it acts like a NOT gate. And if we fix one input at logic low, it acts like a buffer gate. Now let us see similar results for XNOR gate. Let's say I have fixed one input at logic high. So output will be A XNOR1 which can be written as a dot 1 plus a complement dot 1 complement. One complement is 0. So this can be written as a. It means it is acting like a buffer gate when you fix one input at logic high. In the same way if we fix one input at logic low. So expression will be a x naught with 0 is equal to a dot 0 plus a complement dot 0 complement. 0 complement is 1. So answer is a complement. So how to remember this one is very easy. You just remember XOR gate will complement if one input is fixed at high. And XNOR gate will complement if you fix one input at low. So XOR will be inverter when one input is high. XNOR gate will be inverter when one input is low. In this way you can remember. Other results are quite easy. For example, 
if I fix both inputs at 1. So, we have learned X NOR gate is equality detector. Equal inputs will be detected, output will be high. And what will happen if inputs are unequal? What will happen if inputs are unequal? Unequal inputs will not be detected, means output will be logic low. Equal inputs will be detected, unequal inputs will not be detected. Unequal inputs will not be detected. So, this results, you, this you should know. Now, we had a very interesting conclusion in XOR gate that you can replace output with any one of the input. Now, let us see if such result is valid for XNOR gate also as well. See here. Let's say we have A XNOR with 1 and we have A XNOR with 0. XOR gate acts like a NOT gate if one input is fixed at high. But XNOR gate acts like a NOT gate if one input is fixed at 0. So, it is like a NOT gate. One input is 0, it is acting like a NOT gate. Input is high, it is acting like a buffer gate. Also, we know A XNOR A. Equal inputs will be detected. Detected means output is high. Now, see this one. Now, see this one. A X nor with A complement. Inequal inputs will not be detected, will not be detected means it will become 0. So, again what you can notice in X nor gate also, it is also a special function in which we can replace output with any one of the input. We can replace the output with any one of the input. It means if we have a x nor b is equal to c. If we have a x nor b is equal to c, then we can replace c. Or I can say I can replace output with any one of the input. I can replace the output with any one of the input. So, in the first case, I will get a x nor c is equal to b. In the second case, I will get C X nor B is equal to A. So, XOR and X nor both are special function in which you can replace output with any one of the inputs. Now, let us see some more interesting results. What is the expression for A XOR B? Expression is A complement B plus A B complement. Now, what if I replace B with B complement. That means I am complementing one of my inputs. If I am complementing one of my inputs, it would become A complement, B is now B complement, A dot already it is B complement, another complement, it will become B. So, if I am complementing one of the input, if I am complementing one of the input, it becomes X naught. Also, I can write it is complement of XOR. As there are even number of inputs, so it is complement of XOR. So, what was on the left hand side? Left hand side was A XOR B complement. So, you can see the conclusion here, it is again a special function in which if I complement one of the input, whole expression gets complemented. Let me tell you in a different way. Let's say we have A XOR B is obviously equal to A XOR B. Again, I am writing A XOR B is equal to A XOR B. And one last time, A XOR B is equal to A XOR B. Now you see the interesting way. See, what is the conclusion? If I complement one of the input, if I complement one of the input, 
होल फंक्शन गेट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड अगेन यू सी इफ आई कॉम्प्लीमेंट वन ऑफ द इनपुट होल फंक्शन गेट कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड नाउ सी वन बाय वन इफ आई कॉम्प्लीमेंट बोथ द इनपुट वन बाय वन इफ आई कॉम्प्लीमेंट बोथ द इनपुट्स होल फंक्शन विल बी कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड टू टाइम्स दैट विल ऑब्वियसली विल बिकम ए एक्सॉर बी सो सिंपल कंक्लूजन इफ यू कॉम्प्लीमेंट वन ऑफ द इनपुट होल फंक्शन गेट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड ऑब्वियसली कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ एक्सॉर इज एक्स नॉट एंड वॉट एपन्स इफ यू कॉम्प्लीमेंट बोथ द इनपुट्स it will remain to be same because double complement gets cancelled so this is again a very important conclusion this is again a very important conclusion same thing happens with xnor gate also same thing happens pc same thing happens with xnor gate also axnor b is equal to axnor b ए एक्स नॉर बी इज इक्वल टू ए एक्स नॉर बी वन लास्ट टाइम ए एक्स नॉर बी इज इक्वल टू ए एक्स नॉर बी नाउ सी वॉट वी आर सेंग कॉम्प्लीमेंट एनी वन ऑफ द इनपुट होल फंक्शन गेट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड कॉम्प्लीमेंट एनी वन ऑफ द इनपुट होल फंक्शन गेट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड कॉम्प्लीमेंट बोथ द इनपुट्स इंडिविजुअली whole function will be complemented two times and this will get cancelled what is now the way to represent the same conclusion in the form of a logic symbol see what we are saying here please see what we are saying here complement one of the input whole function gets complemented see this is xor gate and this is xor gate obviously both are equal like this this one. what is the conclusion is if i complement one of the input if i complement one of the input whole function gets complemented if i complement one of the input please see if i complement one of the inputs like this one if i complement one of the input whole function gets complemented and if one by one i complement both the inputs output is complemented two times which cancel each other so expression and its equivalent logic symbol same conclusion in the format of the logic symbol as well you can by yourself draw the logic symbol for these three expressions also so these are the special properties of xor gate and xnor gate which you must know